I was reading this poem the other day by Robert Frost and it's called Ghost House and um, I wanted to make a little illustration for this poem so I looked on Pinterest for a picture it, it was like a, a photograph or maybe it was an AI picture I don't know but I just picked one that I liked and I started drawing it so first I used my pencil to roughly get the outline of the the old ruined tower and the building so I just went in with my pencil and I got all the the rough lines everywhere before taking my black pen and making the real drawing I just added some stone work a few stones it usually looks better if you only draw a few of them started using my black pen and the tower looks a bit wonky but thankfully it's a bit uh, of a Halloween inspired drawing so I think it kind of suits it.
after finishing the black ink drawing, I went in with a rubber and erased all the pencil lines. And then I took my watercolors again, which is the Windsor and Newton travel set that I use for um, nature journaling as well. And I mixed some blue and dark brown to make um, a kind of brownish gray color. And here I added too much color so I took some off again with a dry brush. And then I just went in and painted the whole room gray and later I went over it and added some shading and some darker colors and some different colors to make it more interesting. I didn't use many colors in this painting or in this illustration. Only some grays, greens and browns to keep this a dark gloomy feeling that suits the poem. Adding more color to the picture, I'm going to read the poem to you. I dwell in a lonely house I know, that vanished many a summer ago, and left no trace but the cellar walls, and a cellar in which the daylight falls, and the purple-stemmed wild raspberries grow. Over ruined fences the grapevines shield. The woods come back to the mowing field. The orchard tree has grown one copse of new wood and old where the woodpecker chops. The footpath down to the well is healed. I dwell with a strangely aching heart. In that vanished abode they are far apart. On that disused and forgotten road that has no dust bath now for the toad. Night comes the black bats tumble and dart. The whippoorwill is coming to shout, and hush and cluck and flutter about. I hear him begin far enough away, full many a time to say his say, before he arrives to say it out. It is under the small dim summer star, I know not who these mute folks are, who share the unlit place with me, those stones out under the low-limbed tree. Doubtless bear names that the mosses mar. They are tireless folk, but slow and sad, though too close keeping our lass and lad, 
with none among them that ever sings, and yet in view of how many things as sweet companions as might be had. Thank you very much for watching today and see you soon again. Bye.